wonderful Saturday the 13th, 2022. To God be the glory for a beautiful weekend day that the Lord has blessed us with. I don't know if you have some folks in your life where they might be trying your patience. Or maybe you have some children who are going through the stage or they're not doing what you thought that they should be doing at this particular time. Maybe they spend precious moments, all of their moments on TikTok or, or doing something else, wasting time. I don't know. Listen, I was reminded yesterday by a dear brother who I remember from years ago, just a yielded man of God. And he shared a sermon and I knew <clears throat> that the Lord would speak to him. And it was at uh, an annual camp meeting. And this particular focus was for youth. And I, I really honor him listening to the Lord. But I used to say this all the time with working with young people, that we should not look at it as I have to. No. Turn it around toward the perspective as a privilege. I get to. Yes. So as I'm preparing to move my classroom upstairs in my school and have a whole new environment. Oh, I found this in Edgar Town. It was a quaint little neighborhood, uh, part of the segments of how Martha's Vineyard is divided. You have six like towns, uh, Oak Bluff, uh, Edgar Town, and oh my goodness, there's so many vineyard. Well, anyway, I found this in a bookstore. The Lord's like, get this. My job is to help other young people to dream. Yeah, and the manufacturer of this, I guess it's called here and there, right? They start off here at a young age, but God has them planned to go to a certain destination. And it's up to us. We don't have to be teachers. We could be parents, we could be neighbors. We just know we are influencers. And the tagline is inspiration for where you are and where you want to be. And even if you don't have young people in your life, you still have capacity to do great things. God has enabled you to do the magnificent. It's a celebration of all that's good in your world and a reminder of what's possible. Display it wherever it feels right to you. Yeah. And I said this will be the focus of my classroom. Well, what does this have to do with Micah 6? Because our whole duty is verse 8. And this is very familiar, but I'm going to read it, first of all, from the Good News Bible. Ah! And I think the young man's church is called Good Church. Yeah, because they do great things. Well, Micah 6, 8. No, the Lord has told us what is good. What he requires of us is this, to do what is just, to show constant love, not just here and there, but <laughs> Galatians 6, 9, do not be weary in well-doing, doing good. Don't, don't give up. And these babies out here, I know it's hard when we see teenagers doing this Kia Hyundai madness, breaking in cars, but it's up to us influencers of the Holy Spirit to really spread like never before. Constant love and to live in humble fellowship with our God. And we know the other version says, to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. Okay. Let's see what the Lord would have us do. Play.
That's a song. Uh, I am what God says I am. I will be what God says I will be. Yeah. I will uh, post the lyrics, but it's very powerful. Do not give up in dreaming. If you don't have one, if you don't have something in your belly, in your heart, ask the Lord to input a new vision of yourself and what he wants you to do. You are here for a reason. He is not finished with you, and he wants you to do great things for his glory. We would have gone to Psalms 103 today. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within us. Bless his holy name. Yes, we know that we cannot forget his benefits. We want others to receive him so that they can live this life that we are existing in. He forgives our iniquities. When we see the babies doing a craziness, you have to go back to Luke 15 about the lost sheep, how the shepherd put the sheep over their neck and sheep have come, have a lot of issues. They get dirty. The wool catches a lot of nastiness. But when we catch one of these teenagers or youth and we are able to save them, Ooh, we have to remind them the Lord forgives all iniquities. He'll clean you up. Don't try to clean up yourself. And we have to remember the prodigal son, how he was like, my son was dead. Don't we see a lot of youth with the death in their eyes walking around, doing all this craziness shooting? It's up to us. Yes. Lord, we thank you, Father, for this opportunity to be used for your glory once again as your vessels. Fill us with your dreams and your intentions, and we'll walk it out like never before with intentionality because we get to do your will. In the name of Jesus, with joy. Amen.